Good morning, Brisa's Geckos. Good morning, Ms. Swinkleman. Good morning, Mrs. Hilly. Welcome back to school. Yes, welcome back, everyone. Today is Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. And for breakfast, you're um, having mini banana loaves. And for lunch, you have a choice of cheese quesadilla or chicken nuggets. And both have steamed corn and peaches. Yum. All righty. Well, we had a very exciting day yesterday. Congratulations again. And I'm sure we will have pictures and videos for you very soon um, from our readathon celebration. We had yes. lots of friends that came out and did the bubbles and had an ice cream. And it was a really, really fun day. So thank you so much to everybody that helped with that. Yes, yes. So much fun. And thank you to all of our readathon participants who raised more than $200. And those of you who are thinking, darn it, I wish I would have done that. No worries, because next year we'll be doing our readathon again. And when we get to that point early next year and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I remember all the fun that those boys and girls had, you too can be having that same amount of fun next year. So we'll remind you, I promise. Yes. <laughs> all righty. Well, we have some great shares to start off with. This is my friend Ryan and Miss Klotz wanted to give Ryan a shout out because he was a big helper with technology um, during their class the other day. So thank you so much for helping Ryan. We appreciate your help. And next this is my friend Brooklyn and her cousin. She messaged me over the weekend and said that they were going on a hike and they were spending some fun time outside and she wanted to send in those pictures. So there they are, Brooklyn. Thank you so much for sharing. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a wonderful weekend with your cousin. This is from my friend Olivia. Olivia is the one that sends us yes, hearts yes. every now and then. Thank yes. you, Olivia. Well, Olivia was twinning with Miss Dodson in library, and they look so cute in their Rhesus dinosaur shirts. So thank you for sharing. And this is such a cool share. You know, I am a swimmer, so I love to see swim types of videos when they're shared. This is Miss um, Petra, our gifted um, teacher and she had a very cool share. She recently took a class and learned to be a certified mermaid. Isn't oh. that awesome? Well, I yes. know she's a diver. I know she's yes. a diver, but now she's a mermaid too. She is a <laughs> oh, mermaid awesome. now. So congratulations on becoming a mermaid. Here is her video. She learned how to do tricks and flips underwater. Isn't that awesome? I didn't even know you could do that. I that know. It awesome. makes me want to do it. I think I might become a certified mermaid now. Very cool. What an awesome wow. hobby. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing that. I'm sure everyone loved seeing that. Very, very cool. I might have to add that into Gordon's Got Talent. Oh, that's a great idea. Right? I think we will. I think I'm going to save that. Even though we've shared it, you might see that again. That is an yes. awesome talent. Yes. Well, we had another great share. This is from Mrs. Yoshioka's Kindergartners. And this says, in kindergarten, they have been learning about taking care of the earth. They took their clean breakfast bags and reused them to make puppets. A great way to um, recycle or upcycle into something different. And then they shared those puppets with the cafeteria ladies. And they wanted to thank them for making their breakfasts and their lunches. So here are pictures that they wanted to share. See, they took their plain old brown bags and then they turned them into art. Very cool. And there's some more puppets. Beautiful job. Each one's so different too. It looks so, and they're very nice. Very creative kindergarten. There's some more. Oh, there's one more. Very nice. And there's some more friends with their puppets. And then they took them down and showed them to the ladies that filled them with breakfast and how they reused their bags. Yay. Oh. Very nice, Miss Yoshioka's class. Thank you so much for that share. All right, well, we have some great Techie Tuesday shares. This is our last Techie T Tuesday, or actually we had our last um, coding club meeting, but this is not our last Techie Tuesday because um, at the last coding club meeting, Miss um, Klott sent me lots of shares. So I, okay. I'm excited to have some shares for today and I will have enough to share with you some more projects um, next week, even though coding club is done for the year. So this happened at their last meeting. 
Here's my friend Jocelyn and her project that she worked on last Thursday. So I created this coding project in Coding Club. It's a ping pong game and it's really fun. And uh, here's how it works. Oh, wow. That looks hard, Pretty Jocelyn. Fun. That looks fun. Pong. But the person Six. who knew how to do this was Miss Clock. Aw. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jocelyn. Can you show the code? Oh, inside the project? Yeah. Oh wow. oh, wow. Look at all that yeah. code she had to write. That's awesome. I am so proud of you. Thank you. Oh, very nice. I'm and impressed. then we have, yeah, very impressive. We have two more so friends sharing code. A video on this dog that's about to go around the world. Oh, he's traveling all these different places. Oh. Oh, and he has text. It says, let's go somewhere else. Whoa, that is cool. I'm tired of, go I'm going home. And there he is at home again. Oh, very cool. That's very awesome. Nice narrative. Yes. Very nice job, boys. So what does the code look like? The code? Oh. Let's see how they did that. Wow. Look at all of that. Yeah, pages good. and pages of it. Oh my goodness. Great job. So impressive. Yes. Well, I have um, some more code to share from one of our flex learners. This is from my friend Giovanni. Let me find it. Here it is. And he made me two different games that Miss Clot shared with me. So like Jocelyn's Pong game, I'm going to do my best. Let's see. Do use my arrows. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got it. Oh, I've only been able to get it once. And that's a big punk ping pong ball. <laughs> that is a big punk. Okay, there's one. Oh, I, it's a hard game, Giovanni. I it's a, a great small paddle. Yeah, small, yeah, small uh, paddle. paddle. Yes. Ping pong ball. And then Giovanni made this game, too, where it's um, you get a score by clicking <laughs> and clicking on that little guy as fast as you can. There you are. Can you get a Very cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that share, Giovanni. We're so proud of everybody's coding. All right. A reminder, maybe you want to share um, mm -hmm. your coding talents. That would be a nice little video. Whatever you would like to share for your talent, we want to see it. So you have one more day to send that in. Tomorrow is when I need all of those videos um, of your talents. If you would like to submit them for Gordon's Got Talent talent show that is going to happen virtually on um, Friday, May 28th at mm -hmm. six o'clock as a Facebook watch party or a YouTube watch party. So you're going to gather around with your family, watch all those talents and enjoy them. Mm -hmm. And another reminder that tomorrow is the day Spark applications are due, right? Oh, Remember yes. to get those in. And great pictures there, just from reminders of all the wonderful things that, our, things that our Spark Club leaders do, our student leaders, returning library books, um, helping with our yearbook, our tech leaders with um, helping with announcements, just so many amazing things that they do to help run our school. We really um, value and appreciate all of our, our student leaders helping us. So please, if you are interested in being a student leader on campus next year, those are our fourth graders who will be applying for next year, please make sure you turn that application application in right away. Deadline is tomorrow. Don't miss out. Thank you so much. Yes. All right, Miss Winkleman, I think it is time to talk about peace. Okay, we're getting ready to, every day we're setting records here, which is exciting, but I'm curious to know about yesterday when we got back to school, Miss Attili, was yesterday a peaceful day at Breesis? Well, yesterday being Monday, remember we watched that video yesterday on announcements about Stop, Walk, Talk. So it gave mm -hmm. you a strategy for what do I do if I'm frustrated, if someone's bothering me, if I don't like what's happening. So I think that people really paid attention yesterday to that because we had a peaceful day. Yay! Yeah. I am so happy to have had a peaceful day. We needed it. So that brings us to 126 days of peace, only four more days until your peace day goal of 130. Yay. So awesome. before, 
before we head to our day of learning, I have one more great share. And I think this is going to give us some good luck to make sure that today is a peaceful day. Here are some of my friends. Ooh, look at that cool, slow mo peace jump. They had their peace <laughs> fingers out. Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> so I hope we do have a peaceful day at Breesis today. All right. Well, very good. Okay. At this time, boys and girls, let's have you please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. And let's have a peaceful day. Bye, Breesis Geckos. Enjoy your moment of inspiration.